Nowadays, oil and gas producers operate by strict guidelines, telling them how far apart they can place their oil and gas wells. Back in the 1930s, during the Kilgore oil boom, they could put them as close together or as far apart as they wanted. And consequently, there were 24 wells drilled on one city block, actually half a city block, and they were just jammed up against each other. And uh, whether it's true or not, it certainly makes a good story, the world's richest acre. And uh, whether it was the world's richest acre or not, it was a rich, rich acre. Here in the world's richest acre park in downtown Kilgore, you can find the world's most densely drilled area. At the richest acre park, one can get a good look at several reconstructed oil derricks from the 1930s period. And, and the rule was that if you had any place that you could build a steel derrick and you owned the mineral rights underneath it, you could drill a well. So consequently, many wells were drilled inside the town site of Kilgore. And so they actually tore down buildings or ripped off the front of buildings or the back of buildings or just tore the whole building down in order to get a site to drill an oil well. The purpose of the derrick is to support the enormous weight of the drill stem that hangs underneath the derrick thousands of feet into the earth. Not only does the derrick have to withstand the pressure of the drill stem, it also has to hold up the pressure of the drilling mud that's being forced down the pipe. This can sum up to thousands, hundreds of thousands of pounds per square inch being placed on the structure, so derricks have to be pretty sturdy. The other function of the derrick is to hold the block and tackle. It's a series of pulleys and blocks that sit at the top of the derrick that allow roughnecks, or oil workers, to lower and raise the drill stem in and out of the well. So if they need to go deeper or to pull the well stem out, they have a facility by which they can pull this enormous weight up and down out of the hole. Kilgore has become known for its derricks throughout the world. And on postcards and in books, you'll see pictures of forests of derricks stretching off to the horizon. Thank you.